I want to make sure that our message is heard very clearly that this particular incident uh, on the 23rd of June in Lahore, we have concrete evidence and intelligence, including financial and telephone records, that point to direct Indian sponsorship of these terrorists. Through forensic analysis, electronic equipment, which has been recovered from these terrorists, we have identified the main mastermind and the handlers of this terrorist attack. And we have absolutely no doubt or reservation uh, in informing you that the main mastermind belongs to RAW, the Indian Intelligence Agency, is an Indian national and is based in India. I would also like to remind everyone that the Indian use of territory and people of third countries, which actually embarrasses uh, other countries, is not new. We have been constantly reminding the world of Indian actions, including a detailed dossier that was put out last November with details, minute details of finances, of actions, of support coming from India. We've also seen the European Union's Disinfo Labs report after that, not a Pakistani report, an international reputed organization that showed how hundreds and thousands of fake outlets were being used to malign Pakistan, to spread misinformation about Pakistan, and to hide what is actually a clear terrorist sponsorship by a state against another state in our region. I would also like to say that very unusually we have um, evidence of thousands of attempts of cyber attacks against our critical investigative infrastructure uh, right after this attack on the 23rd in Lahore. These attacks and the number and in the sophistication in some cases leaves no doubt of state sponsorship and state linkage uh, in this case. Our cybersecurity is strong enough that we were able to thwart uh, these attempts, but why were the, they being conducted? They were being conducted because um, our enemies wanted to buy time to deflect attention and to avoid the uh, apprehension and capture, uh, apprehending and capture of these terrorists that we managed to do. I'd also like to point out there has been a whole drama about uh, some mysterious drones flying here and there uh, in illegally occupied uh, Indian uh, Jammu and Kashmir territory. What was the logic is now very clear and again with confidence we can put it out. That was a deflection tactic trying to divert attention of the world from the fact and they knew at that time that we had not only apprehended culprits but we knew exactly what had been done uh, behind the scenes and who was behind it. Let me also say that uh, the uh, main executor, uh, Eid Gul, uh, has uh, an Afghan origin, uh, was here, was lived in Pakistan, executed this attack. And we as the state of Pakistan have been constantly flagging this for the world that millions of law-abiding Afghan refugees are given a bad name and Pakistan is blamed uh, when these actors go and hide in these uh, refugee settlements uh, and then Pakistan is questioned on why one or two or five people who were miscreants, who were terrorists, could not be apprehended. We constantly remind the world of their duty uh, to find a way for a dignified uh, return of Afghan refugees uh, and then questions may be asked. Uh, but till then, this is a very good example of the complication uh, when something like this occurs. So once again, there is concrete evidence uh, against the terrorists and their sponsors, and uh, the Prime Minister has instructed his team to use all possible legal and political means to get to the people outside Pakistan who are part of this international terrorist network. We will therefore be sharing all evidence with the international community and exposing the nefarious and real face of a state in our neighborhood uh, that has constantly sponsored terrorism against our innocent civilians. Finally, I think it is high time that the international community stop turning a blind eye and play a constructive 
uh, and the legally binding role for the safety of innocent Pakistanis if they are really serious about peace and stability in this region. Thank you very much.